Hey, what's up, guys? Perry the Entertainer here, giving you guys a Sunday rant. That's one of the reasons why I call myself the Sunday Night Delight. But before I get to this video, I want to ask you guys to please, over here, subscribe. I think right, yeah, right there. Please subscribe over there. And I got a little message to the haters. Um, if you guys don't know already, I posted that video with uh. The video about LeBron James being better than Michael Jordan, a lot of you guys disagreed. And you told me, you know, oh, you should die, you should go kill yourself, you should stick to... The One person said stick to WWE. It's the reason why I call myself the... The, enter <coughs> the Entertainer. That's the reason why I call myself the Entertainer. So, it's basically my fucking job to entertain people. So if you don't like it, tough. Don't go tell me to die because I made a horrible video, you faggots. Uh, but that was just to the haters, guys. Alright, let's get to the Sunday rant. Today's rant is going to be about our truth And the reason why I picked our truth is because I've just been thinking the past few days. And, you know, the, the name of this video up here is, the title is going to be, is our truth the next biggest thing in WWE? The reason why that I think is because look at look at what he's done as a heel. He's taken out one of the most overrated superstars in WWE history, John Morrison. He's taken out a former two-time world heavyweight champion, Rey Mysterio. He didn't take him out, but he beat him at over the limit. Yeah. And he beat him up the last week or no the week the week of the uh the triple threat match that the Miz won um he ended up beating up Rey Mysterio after that so it got me thinking and then also what happened this past Monday night on Raw uh he was in the ring with a former or not a former with a current WWE champion and one of the most legendary Hall of Famers of all time so it got me thinking, is our truth going to be the next biggest thing in WWE? The reason that being also is because look at Alberto Del Rio. <coughs> look at Alberto Del Rio. Look at what he did. It's my destiny to win the Royal Rumble. Look at that. And he even announced that to Shawn Michaels' face. Yes, Shawn Michaels, who is also probably the most legendary superstar in all of WWE history. He has to be, but it, I could be mistaken, but whatever. Oh, uh, so it got me, you know, our truth may be in line for a WWE championship match. And, um, you know, I wouldn't actually have a problem with that. The reason why I wouldn't is because, you know, our truth has been kind of entertaining me. And I know that's a good thing when you're in the WWE. You know, you gotta, you know, make sure. And he draws heat, which is awesome. He he's only been a heel for three, four weeks, at the most, and he's already drawing heat. Wow. It took Michael Cole two months to get him heat. I remember he was on NXT bashing Daniel Bryan, and he wasn't, you know, he wasn't getting any heat for it until. Maybe when Brian actually stood him up, and then you know he called Bri or he uh, he called Brian a coward, and he had all those legal team guys in front of him and stuff. Um, so it took Michael Cole like two months to gain heat, but it takes our true three to four weeks. So obviously that means you're gonna be a good, you're gonna grow, and. Honestly, I don't think that's a good thing for WWE. The reason why I think it's not a good thing for WWE for R-Truth to even be a good heel is because look who they have as a face. John Cena is the only big face on Monday Night Raw. Rey Mysterio is not being used very well. Um, who else did they get? Like, I'm still trying to think. Um... You know, they're not using any guys either. They're not using Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins. They're not using them. They're using them for superstars crap. And <clears throat> might as well make a superstars championship. I guarantee you Zack Ryder will win that one. Um, 
But anyway, this is not on Zack Ryder. This is basically about our truth. Our, I just don't get... Well, I get the fact that he's a heel. I, You know, this time it's actually like, you know why. The other time where Vince wanted him to turn heel because of that get crunk thing. I didn't see it. Like, I really didn't. And then he had Eve dancing for him, so... <coughs> I don't know what that was up in my throat. But anyway, guys, before I go off, leave me a comment down below. Like this video. Uh, give me your thoughts and opinions on our truth I think he could be, I think he is possibly in line for a WWE championship and Brock Lesnar's spot of the next big thing. That's just my opinion. But also before I go off the air, I will have basketball videos up. Yeah, I will. So I don't care what you haters say. Fuck you. I will have a basketball video up maybe later later today, maybe tomorrow. Um, see what's on the screen. New role for LeBron. Uh, uh, no, what I was saying in my in that video though, I said that if LeBron he if he if he can impress me in this whole series with uh, Dallas, and I don't see anybody being Dallas, but um, if he can impress me, I'll I'll say it. I'll say it. How about that? How about that, guys? If the Miami Heat win the NBA championship, because the NBA championship start Tuesday, I think. If Miami wins, I will go on YouTube and I will say LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. How about that, guys? Uh, I'll say it if you guys if you guys uh, would like and. That'll do it for me. Please subscribe up below. Also, before I go off the air, I have my own website, uh, theentertainerinfo at or dot weebly dot com. Basically, uh, it's another. It's like it's not like a domain name. It's just uh, it's for wrestling news. If you would like to go check it out, link will be down in the description box. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe up below, add me as a friend. Um, I said in my other video that I may be giving out my Xbox gamer tag. Um, then again, that's if my internet does any well, so, um, let me know what you think about R-Truth being the next top thing in WWE, and that's about, that'll do it for me right now. Perry the Entertainer signing off, and peace out.